Welcome to Chapters of Cancers. My lovely Cancers, I'm hoping all is well with each and every one of you. I'm thanking you all for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I truly and highly appreciate it. All right, Cancerians, let's see what messages Spirit has for you today. Let's see what Spirit wants you to know for the month of August. I was going to say February, so you could be dealing with a Aquarius or a Pisces, okay? So let's see what Spirit wants you to know, Cancerians. Let us see. I call on my assigned angels and my ancestors to guide me in spirit and in truth. Anybody who is trying to block me or stop me from delivering these messages will fall down and perish. Any energies that are being sent my way that are not my own will be returned to its rightful sender a million fold. Ashe and Amen. Messages for Cancerians, please, Spirit. What do Cancerians need to know, please, Spirit, for the month of, that's crazy, I was going to say July, so you could be dealing with another Cancerian or a Leo here. What do Cancers need to know, please, Spirit, for the month of August? So we have karmic lesson, okay? So you could be learning some form of lesson here with a karmic, Okay. It says closing this cycle, well done. <laughs> Either you or somebody attached to you is learning a karmic lesson here and then fed up, okay. Now, a karmic lesson doesn't necessarily have to be relationship, okay, because this is giving me like career, okay. This is giving me the forbidden apple energy clearly with the apple here. So a karmic could be anybody. It doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. It could be a job, it could be a family member. It could be a habit. It could be anything that is karmically occurring in your life, right? So I feel like you guys are at this stage where you've basically learnt your lesson here, Cancerians. You're fed up of dealing with the same shit over and over and over again. We have mirroring. So you are clearly going through some form of karmic lesson here to kind of like teach you or show you the errors of your ways is also the energy that I'm getting. We have losing sleep. And we have popped the question, okay? So yeah, whatever you are going through karmically, it may have caused you to be stressed out. It may have caused you to lose sleep and so forth here. It's now wanting you or it's now causing you to want commitment is also the energy that I'm getting. If not, some of you are clearly dealing with someone who was a karmic or you are dealing with someone who was dealing with karmics. They are now learning the lesson in regards to love or whoever this karmic is. All right, this person is now fed up. I also get that this person is fed up with being alone, losing sleep. This is somebody who cannot sleep. This is some, it's so crazy. And I'm hearing lonely, I miss the lonely. I have no party for my own. This person's finding it very hard to sleep. I'm also getting if some of you have a mirror in front of your bed, you need to remove it i don't know that could be the reason why you're unable to sleep okay most mirrors for me anyway traditionally a mirror would go above your bed but not in front of your bed for some of you you need to also have a mirror by your front door there's some form of energy there that you need to ward off this could also be why you are unable to sleep Somebody could be cursing you with an apple also. So just be aware of that. Okay, Cancerians, but whoever you were with or, or whoever you were dealing with, um, they are now realizing here that you are somebody who they want commitment with, with this pop the question energy. This could be somebody who you were married to, or this is someone again who now wants to marry you. Yeah, we have true colors, divine feminine and firestorm. And then we have love child. This person may want to have a child with you or this person could have stepped out and had a love child with somebody else or they could have had a child with a karmic or they could have had responsibilities with a karmic because of children, family, whatever. And this is why it was very hard for them to close out a cycle. But now someone is viewing you to be their divine feminine or, div or their divine masculine, okay? Someone could be called Divina. Yeah, we have pregnancy, fake news, DNA. So someone could be finding out that a child doesn't belong to them. This has always been your energy. This always comes out in your reading every now and again. I split the deck. We have wish. I split the deck again. Reckless love sex. So your person here um, is being lured in because they have sexual desires that they are unable to, uh, you know, control here. 
but again i feel like someone here is about to learn their lesson here with this karmic lesson um for some of you if your person is not in the energy where they are waking up where they have learned their lesson spirit could also be saying to you that your person was dealing with a karmic who caused you and your person to separate okay you may have come to your senses and realized what was going on and said fuck this i'm fed up okay you could be doing some self you know evaluation here you could be reflecting on the past okay it may be causing you again to lose sleep but again it's going to push you forward to actually know your worth and actually want commitment going forward okay all right let's see what else spirit wants you to know uncle i just want to destroy you i'm not giving up so this energy is coming out again okay i always say it whenever it pops up if you guys were following me from my first channel chapters of tarot whenever i would do cancerians readings uncle and lesson learned would come out like it was coming out for like two months straight no matter what i did no matter what i shuffled those two cards would always come out together and i've split the deck and it was uncle i just want to destroy you i'm not giving up now for some of you this may not be your uncle who was a magician because again if you've been following me we established that somebody's uncle was like a warlock or into black magic and was doing spell work on your love life or your person's love life now intuitively i'm picking up that this uncle could be attached to whoever this karmic is so if you're a masculine watching this there is a female that you are attached to and her uncle was a warlock and if you're a feminine energy watching this your person their uncle was a warlock okay so again, just be aware of that also. So let's see what else Spirit wants you to know. Karmic lesson. Why is karmic lesson here, please, for Cancerians? Mm. So clearly a third party situation here going on. It says grandmother here, but this is my in the closet card, but intuitively this could be a third party energy, all right? But then there's competition here. So what Spirit is saying here again is that there was a karmic here who was, you know, invading or interrupting a relationship that you were in, okay? This was somebody who was competing with you, okay? I'm also getting the energy of this karmic having a lot of masculine energy. So this karmic, I'm picking up the energy of this karmic being like the youngest child or this karmic being the only girl with like multiple brothers or masculines in their family, so the masculines watching this again, you could have been dating a karmic who had multiple brothers or masculine energies, okay, who are very much overprotective of them. This karmic is somebody who is spoilt. Um, but again, this karmic could also be competing to the masculine cancerians watching this. This karmic could now be competing with somebody who you are with or somebody who you are getting ready to be in a union with. Don't fit in, stand out. So to the masculine cancerians, you could be dealing with a um, a feminine Leo. And whoever this karmic is, they are attacking whoever this feminine Leo is. So be aware of that also, okay? Closing this cycle. Why is closing this cycle here, please? For cancerians. So this would be the empress, but this would also break down to the grandmother energy that is showing up behind this competition energy, all right? So for some of you, your relationship has been ruined because of a grandmother. Somebody's grandmother could also be into spell work, could also be into spirituality. But this is also the Empress energy, right? So somebody could be closing a cycle with somebody who they're married to, a Libra or a Taurus or potentially another Cancerian. Or again, like somebody's mother didn't approve of this relationship or someone's mother didn't like you. For some of you, this is your own mother who is not fond of the people that you attract. Your mother could also be the reason why your relationships don't work out, right? We have stop, fire signs, and the grass is greener. They can never stop your shine. So again here, a Leo here could be very significant or spirit could be saying that there is a fire sign who was stopped or blocked from being a part of your life, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, again, this could be because their mother is not fond of you, it says they can never stop your shine, so just be aware of that also, okay, um, I also feel like to the masculine cancerians watching this, uh, there could be a Taurus coming towards you, 
this Taurus could be relaying that they are pregnant or again, spirit is saying that someone is trying to block communication between you and someone who you're meant to be with and it's someone's mother in the background that is doing this, okay? Because this, it would be a hidden pregnancy, but this is still the Empress. This could be a Libra or a Taurus. And again, we already have the Empress out here, all right? Grandmother would still break down to mother, Libra, Taurus energy, okay? So again, just be aware of that also. Let's see, fed up. Why is fed up here, please, for Cancerians? I'm hearing, my mama don't like you and she likes everyone. The grass is greener protected mm. so some of you are dealing with an earth sign here definitely taurus Virgo, capricorn their mother may not approve of you you could be dealing with an earth sign or a fire sign their mother may not be you know aware of you or we're well, not aware of you they may not agree with the relationship they may not be fond of you now with this fed up energy here and crystals protection energy i feel like spirit is saying that again you guys are going to have to get into an energy where you are going to have to start protecting yourself in whatever way that you see fit, because again, you must be noticing that there is some form of pattern. So your last reading was about an ex of yours who was stopping you from finding love. There was an ex of yours who was doing black magic, but again, that ex energy could have been an ex partner of yours, an ex partner of your current partners, or people from your past who just don't want to see you find love, right? Or be happily in love. So again, you are being called to protect yourself here, Cancerians, because again, things ain't what they appear to be. And eventually you will figure it out. And then we have cousins. So again, like family members here are definitely playing a role in the reason why um, you're having some form of difficulties in regards to your love life. Okay. So just be aware of that also. Why is mirroring here, please, for Cancerians? We have you make me sick, but then we have baby energy here. So when I split the deck earlier on, there was some form of pregnancy. I did say to the masculine ca cancerians earlier on, also there may be a Taurus coming towards you saying that they are pregnant. Okay, but I do feel like with this mirror magic here, it's causing you to reflect, okay? You could also be resolving childhood wounds or trauma that you potentially have. This karmic could also potentially have some form of childhood trauma also. Or again, there's going to be some form of revelation, something revealed about the paternity of a child here, okay? Now, a side message with this closing the cycle and this empress energy. Some of you may be closing out a cycle with your own mother, okay? Because again, like, I'm still getting forbidden fruit energy. So for some of you, you are finding out or you are realizing that your mother is karmic. If not, there is a Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius attached to you who is now finding out that their mother is karmic and they're deciding to do the same. Close out a cycle, okay? I split the deck. Let me make it up to you. Another chance and then the warlock. So again, you could potentially have somebody here who is mind hacking you. This karmic may not also be a feminine energy, but to the masking Cancerians watching this, Spirit could be saying, if you are in a same-sex relationship, you could have been dealing with somebody who isn't just gay. They could have been bisexual. They could have been also dealing with feminine energies also. And whoever they were dealing with um, as a feminine energy is doing spell work on you. To the feminine Cancerians watching this, Spirit could also be saying that you could have been dealing with a masculine who was hiding their sexuality from you. A karmic energy was aware of that, but despite the fact that they knew that your person was hiding their sexuality, your person kind of wanted to stray away from that energy. I heard kinky, what? So your person now wants to stray away from that energy or walk away from that energy and come back to you. But this karmic is now attacking you because they feel like they are hiding or holding dark secrets for your person. And they feel that because they have these dark secrets or they know these dark secrets about your person, they are the ones that should actually be given the authority um, or the position to be in your person's life forever. Again, to the feminine Cancerians watching this, you could also be dealing with somebody who is into spell work, okay? This could be your ex or your current partner who is into spell work. They may not want you to know this because, again, we do have the warlock energy here, okay? Losing sleep. Why is losing sleep here, please, for Cancerians? Yeah, no kids. So someone is now realizing the truth. 
the truth is being reflected reflected about a child okay the truth is coming out about a child someone's now finding out that a child doesn't belong to them okay but then behind no kids we have the three of cups which would be your energy so again your person is losing sleep over you because whoever they chose there was a problem whoever they chose over you wasn't faithful to them this karmic as well may not even know who the paternity of the child is this child could have been conceived via a threesome is also what I'm picking up intuitively as well. It's very close to home because this has given me like two past friends fighting. It's very, very close to home. Even this in the closet card, third party card is giving me like very close to home. So your person may be finding out that their own friend impregnated this karmic. Lord yeah three marks like third party energy i'm all yours and his friends come first i can't make this up say it louder so someone's now finding out that a child was conceived um either via this threesome or their friends his friends come first so your person is finding out that their friend is actually the father of their their child what let it go and they're finding it very hard to let this go Oh, yes, my right hand is itching me. I receive this money. But I'm also getting that whoever your person is, if you are a feminine cancer watching this, your person invested in this child a lot. They have spent a lot of money. Okay, I receive it. Nothing or anything shall block this blessing. I say amen. So your person has spent a lot of money um, on this child or your person has spent a lot of money investing in this child. Okay. Pop the question for Cancerans, please. Pop the question for Cancerans. Again, uncle. And then we have money. So I don't know. Your person could be very wealthy. Or your person could be going to a family member. It could be an uncle or a masculine energy here. But I feel like someone is like buying you something. Even if they don't intend to propose to you, they're coming back with some form of gift that they want to give to you. They may be speaking to an uncle who is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and maybe this uncle or family member is even tired of speaking to your person because it's kind of like everyone is kind of like seeing your person for who they truly are. It's kind of like they put themselves in these crazy predicaments and then they turn around and play victim. It's your time to shine. So this is being exposed, revealed. If you don't get up and chase your dreams, who will? and show no mercy so what i'm getting from this cancerans is that spirit is basically saying again it's your time to shine it's your time to go after your dreams it's time for you to do what makes you happy this person is now losing sleep because they are about to witness you in this three of cups energy this person definitely could have turned their back on you because their mother taught again my mama don't like you and she likes everyone so someone's mother here was clearly influencing them or somebody's family member or even potentially grandmother because we did have grandmother showing up earlier on someone's grandmother could have been the reason why they treated you badly here this could also be a mother who acts as if their children especially their sons are their partners you do have feminine energies that are like that and it's fucking disgusting bruv <laughs> it's disgusting so i'm kind of getting this energy for some of you here to the masking cancerans watching this, your person's mother or family members did not like you at all. And you were actually good to this feminine energy, okay? But again, someone here is definitely worried and I feel like they know that they've lost you. But, you know, nothing is not kind of like set in stone. God is in control of everything. And again, if this person does come back and prove that they've changed or if this person does come back and want to reconcile with you, let them prove themselves, okay? None of us are perfect. None of us, you know, are short of, of sinning daily. We all sin. We all fall short. But if you do allow this person to come back, do let this person prove themselves to you, okay? Just, just make sure you're making the right decisions, okay? So let's see what else Spirit wants you to know, Cancerians. Karmic lessons. Why is this here, please, for Cancerians? karmic lessons why is this energy here please for cancerians we have the king of cups so to the masking cancerians watching this you are definitely going through some form of karmic lesson here okay 
um, whoever this feminine energy is that you are dealing with, this is someone who wants to have their cake and eat it too. This is someone who is also very competitive. This person is no good for you. We have the Empress. So this definitely could be the mother of your child or somebody who you have a child with. Libra, Taurus, Cancerian energy. But again, if they are not those signs, this is someone who you definitely have a child with or who you have children with. I split the deck, the Six of Pentacles, who you have most definitely invested in. The Knight of Swords, what you're doing, the, you're doing the better thing and walking away from this person, okay? Spirit is also saying treat yourself to a holiday. So you definitely could be dealing with an Aquarius because in the background, my eyes went straight to the boat and it's giving me the Six of Swords energy. So if you are a masculine cancer and watching this and you are dealing with an Aquarius, this person is a karmic, okay? This person here is very competitive and I'm also getting that this person has cheated on you multiple times. There is somebody that is coming into your life who is going to change your life, okay? You're going to meet somebody and um, a lot of people are going to be jealous of this person to the masculine cancerians watching this. And whoever this Aquarius is, Libra, Taurus or another cancer that you are with, this person is going to make your life a living hell. But don't back down, okay? Because whoever this feminine energy is that's coming into your life, this is someone who is going to help you, you know, get back on track, help you to remain humble, stable and focused. Because again, I'm reading the energies intuitively here. The King of Cups, which would be you, Masculine Cancer, and you're in red. And the feminine energy that's on top is on red, which tells me that this is someone who is going to fight for you. This is someone who is going to beat the shit out of whoever this person is from your past who feels like they can come in and destroy this. Okay, so again, there's someone coming in for you. Again, it could be a Leo, okay, because he was picking up it's your time to shine earlier on and don't fit in, stand out. And if it's not a Leo, it could be just a fiery, passionate person who is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? So the feminine cancer is watching this. What spirit is saying is that you, again, were in a karmic relationship with someone who could have potentially been hiding their sexuality. If not, you were in a karmic relationship with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio individual who, again, would put their friends first, who would put people before you. This person was juggling you with multiple people. OK, I'm also getting I'm also getting that spirit is saying if your back is or was against the wall. This is somebody who would literally leave you to fight for yourself. This person didn't care about you. And straight away, my eyes went to this man here who is walking away from this energy. So this is giving me the energy of a Pisces. This masculine energy is walking away. And again, we do have the King of Cups here. So if you were dealing with a Pisces, this person here was very selfish. This person here did not care about you. OK, and you were in some form of karmic lesson with a Pisces, if not another Cancer or Scorpio here. OK, but again, this is someone who would put everyone else before you. I'm also getting that this person here could also potentially be dealing with two other people currently who are familiar with each other, who know each other. And there is going to be some form of um, public disgrace or confession that comes out about this. OK, but if you are dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Spirit wants you to know that this is a karmic lesson or a karmic relationship that you are in and it's time to walk away, okay? So let's see what else Spirit wants you to know. Closing this cycle and with the Empress at the bottom of the deck, I'm getting intuitively that as soon as you walk away, you're going to find out that you're pregnant, okay? Closing this cycle, please. Why is this energy here, please, for Cancerans, please, Spirit? Closing this cycle, we have the hangman. So again, it's like you're finding out or someone's waking up. Someone's seeing the truth for what it is. A Pisces or an Aquarius here. Okay, you're seeing the truth for what it is. Or you are also seeing the truth for what it is. You look at life differently now, okay? Again, that hanging energy. You are left out in the cold. You also could have been dealing with a Virgo, okay? But it's like you're seeing life differently now. You're also seeing your true beauty as well as your true potential. With the star card, this could have been something that you were praying about, okay? You could have been asking God to give you the strength to be able to walk away, to be able to close out cycles with people that no longer serve you. And it's finally happening now, Cancerians, okay? I split the deck. We have the Ace of Pentacles, which is going to bring about a new beginning, the high priestess, I'm also getting that for some of you, it could have been because of your spiritual beliefs or practices. So I am getting religious factors here. You could have been a different faith or 
you could have had different spiritual beliefs or practices than the person that you were dating or that you were with and their mother or their family is very traditional for example you could have been i don't know a muslim and you could have been dating somebody who was christian and um their family didn't approve for example like no you can't be with this person they're a different faith than us they're a different ethnicity than us stuff of that nature there was a lot of you know discrimination here that was taking place but nevertheless again if it was because of your spiritual beliefs this could also be the reason why they were fighting against you because it's like when you are intuitive and when you are a psychic you will always be a threat to people because exactly like you can see things that nobody else can see some people gravitate to it embrace it and appreciate it or some people you know do the complete opposite shun you treat you bad and make your life a living hell just because you're a psychic or you're intuitive right so i'm getting here cancerans that again maybe you were dating somebody who didn't believe in your spiritual practices or beliefs but spirit is saying if you are thinking about you know going into spirituality and making this a, a business for yourself or you're looking to strengthen your gifts in those areas go for it because the ace of pentacles to the high priestess is telling me that you will have a lot of people who support you you will have a lot of people that actually believe in you okay so again it's now is the time for you to chase your dreams now is the time for you to go after the things that you've always wanted to manifest because again i do feel like whoever you were dating they were no good for you if this is not in regards to relationship and we are talking about a toxic mother as in your own mother spirit could be saying that your mother may have been jealous of the fact that you were gifted or your mother may have been jealous of the fact that you were kind of like a rebel or you were someone who is very um strong minded and you know exactly what you want and spirit is saying when you do decide to close up this cycle with this mother energy it could be a mother or a grandmother but when you do decide to close out this cycle with this person, you will be going through some form of spiritual awakening and it's going to lead you into spirituality, okay? So let's see what else spirit wants you to know. Fed up. Why is fed up here, please, for Cancerians? Why is fed up here, please, for Cancerians? We have the Three of Swords. Ouch. The King of Pentacles. So definitely an earth sign. There's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here um who is feeling hurt why the magician so definitely a virgo the world card okay so somebody is upset whoever this earth sign is taurus virgo capricorn they are wanting some form of reconciliation with you this is someone who is definitely being manipulative manipulative though with that magician energy what's the three of swords but again like spirit is saying to protect yourself because there could have potentially been an earth sign here doing spell work what's the three of swords What's the three of swords? So this could have been a third party. Yeah, we have the Hierophant and the Five of Wands. So Spirit is saying if you are married to a Virgo or you are married to an Earth sign, there is a third party here who is hurt at the fact that this person is committed to you. I feel like if you're with an Earth sign or married to an Earth sign, they're, they're realizing the error of their ways. But this union here is under attack. So again, you do need to protect yourself in your union. And remember that the devil hates marriages okay especially if you are married to a taurus i feel like they're having some form of regret i also feel like they're having some form of mental breakdown like they're beating themselves up they they regret they regret not protecting you they regret not cherishing this union we have the sun card <laughs> but you're like it's too late okay so some of you could have definitely walked away from a taurus okay the seven of swords but this person is not done with you this person is coming back one way or the other. So look out for that, Cancerans, okay? Now, um, to the masculine Cancerans watching this, Spirit could be saying that there is an earth sign that you're connected to, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, individual here. This person here could be acting up because they want marriage, okay? They want you to marry them or they want you to propose to them and it's and you're not doing it. Okay, I don't feel like you should be pressured into proposing to somebody or to marry somebody. That should be something that you genuinely want to do. So Spirit could be saying if you and this person have been a bit rocky or there has been a bit of arguments, it's because this person here wants you to marry them. Okay, so don't really feed into that energy too much because even though 501 speaks about conflict and competition, I'm also getting spoiled. Like this person is always picking a fight or an argument with you, but it's because they feel like you and them should be married by now. 
So you may have been with this person like three to five years, but I'm strongly getting five years. For some of you, it has been as little as five months, okay? If you've been dating somebody for five months and they're pressuring you to marry them and you feel pressured into doing so, that should be a red flag for you that this person is not for you, okay? Right, so let's see. Mirroring. Why is mirroring here, please, for Cancerians? We have the Queen of Pentacles. So there could be an earth sign here who is being exposed in regards to this child energy. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. The Ace of Pentacles always gives me an egg. Okay, the sperm going up to the egg energy. So again, Spirit could also be saying that this person is going to be exposed in regards to a child, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're going to be exposed in regards to a paternity of a child. The King of Swords, you knew this. The Justice, okay. So you knew this, or Spirit is saying that again, that there's an earth sign coming towards you saying that they're pregnant. And before you accept this child, you do need to do a paternity for this child, okay? Um, again, like some of you could potentially also have childhood trauma. Maybe some of you are thinking about going for counseling. I think this is also going to help you. I also feel like Spirit is saying for some of you, if you are single parents, especially if you are a feminine Cancerian, okay you could be at a stage in your life right now where you're reflecting like what is it that you really want to do because the queen of pentacles does to me represent like capricorn energy and the king of pentacles tends to represent taurus but capricorns are very goal orientated they're very ambitious they know what they want they're very good with money okay so i feel like this is the energy that you are embodying you could be an earth sign watching this with cancer in your chart but again i feel like spirit is saying that now you need to kind of like um reflect as well as analyze or kind of like kind of like make wise decisions going forward because the queen of pentacles is like an older energy also so some of you could be reflecting on a time when you were younger spirit could also be saying that there's something that you want to go after there's something that you want to manifest for yourself and this is something that you have always wanted to do since you were a child and spirit is also saying like you should go after it because again like it's going to make you very wealthy and stable here is going to offer a lot of stability. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Some of you may also be thinking about going into teaching. And Spirit is saying that will also be a very good field for you to go into also, okay? One more on the Queen of Pentacles, please, for Cancerians. Yeah, you're holding yourself back with the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, we have the Chariot. I knew this was you. So again, it's like Spirit is saying, you've got the all clear, okay? Just go for it go for it why am i getting somebody that drives a school bus with the queen of pentacles and the chariot maybe that's something that you're applying for to be like a school bus driver here yeah the page of pentacles especially where children are concerned i split the, the three of pentacles so yeah maybe some of you are thinking about going into teaching or working in a school and spirit is saying again if you are a single parent that may just be the best choice for you going forward okay Right, so let's see. Losing sleep. Why is losing sleep here, please, for Cancerians? Yeah, definitely a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, the Eight of Swords. Somebody is definitely in their head about you, Cancerians, the Seven of Wands, and you're closed off from this person. This person wants to come towards you with some form of offer or love gesture. They also want to apologize, but they feel like with the Eight of Swords, you are not over what they have done to you. So this person must have done something really bad for you to kind of like be in this energy. But I'm also getting if you are unable to sleep, it's because this person here is trying to connect with you telepathically. So this person here definitely, you and this person could definitely have a telepathic connection. Okay, but again, you're closed off with the seven of wands, a queen of cups. Again, like you surrender the eight of pentacles. You're trying to take your mind off of things by just focusing on your finances and work. But this is someone here who wants you to change how you feel they want you to forgive them in a sense but it's like you can't get over something that they did what did they do the justice that don't make no sense what did they do because the justice is here so whatever they did it was justified i don't know what's the justice that's weird the eight of wands the four of swords so I don't know, maybe this is somebody, because a justice could speak about a contract. So I don't know, maybe, maybe Spirit is also saying that the Eight of Swords does speak about a mindset. So maybe Spirit is saying that you have like trust issues 
with the eight of swords like spirit is saying that this person hasn't really done anything to you per se it could be like a mindset because the justice speaks about balance stability contracts two people coming together reciprocating energy is also the energy like the six of pentacles so if the justice card was in reverse and i could say this person did you something wrong but I don't know. Maybe this person had like a habit. Maybe this person had an alcohol addiction or again, this person was putting friends before you, third parties before you. Okay. That could be what it is. Okay. So maybe this person is in kind of like a cloaking energy where they're ashamed of what they did and they don't really want to go over that. They just want to move past that. Okay. But the eight of wands and the four of, four of swords is telling me that again, this person is telepathically connecting with you, especially via your dreams. Or this person is coming forward towards you because, again, they want to heal this connection. They want to move forward, okay? Okay, so let's see. Pop the question. Why is pop the question here, please, for Cancerians? Okay. We've got the Six of Swords in reverse and we have the Death card in reverse. I don't feel like you're going to accept this person's offer. Pop the question is red. Six of um, Swords is red. And the Death card is red also. So there could be a Scorpio or an Aquarius here who wants to propose to you. And you're like, uh-uh. Nothing's going to come of this. The Six of Swords speaks about stagnancy. Somebody who is not using their intuition. Somebody who is lackadaisical. The Death card speaks about stagnant energy. Somebody not willing to change. Somebody, I don't know. This person has got a lot of work to do. Especially if they're Aquarius or a Scorpio. Spirit could also be saying that you may want to propose to a Scorpio or an Aquarius. And you need to think twice before doing this. Because there's, there's not going to be no changes. You could also be dealing with a Gemini. Because I'm hearing Tupac. I see no changes. I wake up in the morning. I don't see no changes. Is that what he says? Wake up in the morning. I don't see no changes. But that's what I'm hearing. That's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. Oh, yeah. So there's going to be like no changes. Like, yeah, I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, is life worth living? Shall I bless myself? So I don't know. Someone here could be like definitely going through like some form of depression. Okay, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles. So an Aquarius or a Scorpio here is wanting to have some form of family with you or they're wanting to marry you. Okay, but I feel like it's for the wrong reasons because the Six of Swords is in reverse and the Death card is in reverse, which again is telling me that whatever energy you and this Scorpio or Aquarius are in, there's not going to be any changes going forward, okay? So let's see what else Spirit wants you to know, Cancerians. Let us see... Let us see. Messages for Cancerians, please. So Spirit is saying that you need to change your number. There could be a Capricorn who is stalking you. Okay, it's time to change your number. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So somebody could be stalking you or to just make there be peace or to have peace. Change your number, okay? So let's see. It says your co-workers keep reporting you to management. So if you have a nine to five confirmation, your co-workers ain't shit. They keep reporting you to management. Okay. Sis. We have Leo. So your co-workers could be a Leo or spirit is saying that the reason why your co-workers keep re reporting you to management is because of your strength, your resilience. Spirit also wants you to know that you are protected. Okay. We have Libra. So stay away from a Leo or a Libra. They keep reporting you. We have everyone believes you now. So these two co-workers of yours in particular have been telling a lot of lies or spreading a lot of rumors on you and everybody is going to believe you. Okay, we have cancer, termination and ascension symptoms. Wow. So spirit could be saying that a Leo or a Libra is doing spell work to get rid of you or to cause you some form of losses here. If you did get fired from a job, Spirit wants you to know it's because of a Leo or a Libra. I split the deck, two can play that game. So what I'm getting is what goes around, comes around with the two of pentacles. A Capricorn here could be very significant as in a Capricorn breaking down to your boss may actually see these people for who they are. And when they least expect it, the same thing is going to happen to them, okay? So let's see what else Spirit wants you to know. It says, mind your business. Wow. So again, if you're at work and you realize that there's a lot of friction, toxicity, gossip, whatever, mind your business, do your job, make your money, get the fuck out, go home, right? 
it says protect yourself so spirit is saying you need to protect yourself from a leo and we have cash app donation so somebody could be coming in to support you to to um invest in your business you may be waiting to hear back from some form of institution here because Libra still breaks down to a contract. Spirit could also be saying if you have lost a job, you will be given a new job or you will find a new job, okay? And I feel like this job is going to pay you a lot better than the previous one or again, it's going to suit you and your lifestyle a lot better. It says your ancestors said to keep going, black magic and Aquarius. So there's an Aquarius here doing black magic on you, arse out, pussy out, tits out. This is a feminine Aquarius who is doing black magic on you. This Aquarius could also be your co-worker. I split the deck. Don't pray for them. They know that you have a soft and pure heart. So this is someone who is taking your kindness a weakness. This could be somebody coming towards you wanting some form of, you know, forgiveness or they're wanting you to be empathetic or sympathetic towards them. Don't because again, this person here is manipulating you. So just be aware of that also. Okay. It says defeating their demon. So I feel like you have warned a lot of people. I always find myself in this energy. I will say things to people and they never realize what I'm saying is the truth until years later or when it's too late or when I'm long gone about my business. Okay, so again, just be careful. It says, how do you do that? So it's it's got something to do with the way that you do things as to why people are intimidated by you, especially your co-workers. It could be because you say what's on your mind. A Leo could be upset because you're exposing them with say what's on your mind because it says Leo protect yourself and say what's on your mind. So a Leo could be upset that you're, you know, saying what's on your mind. So again, just protect yourself because this person could be attacking you. Okay, tell me more. Messages for Cancerans, please. It says don't tell them nothing. So Spirit is saying when you receive this financial blessing, don't share it with anybody. Okay, because I do feel like people are out to get you. And again, it's time to change your number, okay? Tell me more, please. Messages for Cancerians. It says throwing rocks and hiding hands. Using religion to hide their evil deeds, okay? So people do tend to hide behind religion. And they think because they say they're religious or they're God-fearing that, you know, that makes them a good person. No, not everybody who says, Lord, Lord, will enter. So again, you've got a lot of people in your workplace or a lot of people within the same work field as you who claim to be religious, but they're actually the opposite. They're only using religion to hide who they truly are. We have mean girls, okay? So these could be feminine energies here. Mean girls, Freemason, and stalker alert. Aquarius. So whoever this Aquarius co-worker is or whoever this Aquarius is, stay away from them. Okay, tell me more, please. Messages for Cancerians, please. We have, they are using you. So there could be a Leo who is mad. So Spirit is saying to stay away from this Leo because they are using you. Spirit is also saying that you need to protect yourself from a Leo because whatever you say, this person regurgitates it. So this person here is like a doppelganger or a karmic. This person realizes that you are an earth angel and you always attract and manifest money with windfall of abundance because you are the chosen one. So stay away from a Leo. This person is a doppelganger or this person is siphoning your energy. Okay, we have detox time. So spirit is also wanting you to stay away from a Libra or spirit is saying if you are in the energy of wanting to leave your workplace, do so. Don't tell them nothing. And again, this place is very toxic with detox time. You need to move away from whatever work environment you're in. Okay. Mm. We have health checkup. So yeah, I feel like a lot of people have been attacking your health. But health checkup has a smiley face, which is telling me that any health problems that you have, you will be able to overcome it. We have prayer warrior and demon slayer, our Shay and our men, okay? So if you are somebody like myself who likes to pray, again, I always tell you, don't let them trick you out of your spot cancerians. Praying is very, very powerful. So this could be the reason why they're shot, because it says, how do you do that? Because you are God-fearing and you actually are about that life. Where these people are God-fearing, but they're not about that life. Somebody here could be an Orthodox Christian. That's the energy that I'm getting. Okay, but um, again, stay away from these people here, Cancerians. They are no good, okay? So let me clarify Leo and Libra, and then I will close out your reading. I split the deck. It says million-dollar plan. 
and demon slayer so yeah somebody here wants to affect your business or affect your finances but you will slay that energy and those entities that are coming against you okay why is leo here please for cancerans why is leo here you never knew they were married so this leo could be somebody who is married okay it says fuck being a slave you need to work for yourself so this is somebody who is married but this person here i don't know they may be unemployed one more Feed your enemies. You know they hate you. Narcissist. And they were never your friend. You are meant to trod alone. So this could be your friend. Or this could be somebody who is stalking you. Who is obsessed with you. But again, this Leo is somebody who is married. This person here, again, may have wanted you to bow to their will. Or this person here is, is um, unemployed. With feed your enemies, you know that they hate you. Again, it's like you're feeding this person with whatever you're saying. You're feeding this person with some form of knowledge, but this person is narcissistic and this person was never your friend or this person was never for you and spirits making it clear that you need to trod alone. For some of you, this is a Leo who you were in a relationship with because you never knew they were married. We still break down to the four of ones and the hierophant energy. This person here wanted you to be a slave to them. They wanted you to bow down to them and you're like, fuck no. But this is somebody who you've actually helped. But this person, again, is narcissistic and they were never for you. Whether they're your friend, foe, family, ho, they were never for you, okay? Tell me more, please. Why is Libra here, please, for Cancerians? Why is Libra here? Your co-workers are a part of a cult and they sense that you know. So there you go. Your co-workers ain't shit, ain't never gonna be shit and will never be about shit, okay? We have underground orgies. Ooh-wee! So this Libra here is some, on some dark shit, boy damn mad because they're blocked blocked black they could like to wear black it says mad because they they're blocked on whatsapp and can no longer spy on you this person could even be black okay they could be black ethnicity ass out pussy out tits out shape my head so this person has jezebel and harlow energy but this is a black feminine energy and it says your ancestors said to keep going and trying to break your spirit so this libra here is definitely trying to break your spirit but your ancestors are like no somebody's last name could be blake okay trying to break your spirit your manager hates you and human resources so these people here feel like they're powerful because they're a part of these cults these underground orgies these dark brotherhoods they feel like they're very powerful okay because they're a part of cults and covens but nevertheless cancerans your ancestors are said to keep going okay so closing out let's see what else spirit wants you to know let's see what else do you cancerans need to know please spirit Messages for Cancerians, please. So it says, under pressure, decisions, time is running out, living in the moment, okay? So time is running out for these motherfuckers, okay? You're here minding your own business. I heard pressure breeds diamonds, okay? You're the rose that grew from the concrete. These people here thought that they could defeat you. Now they're under pressure while you're here living your best life, okay? So with that being said, I wish you guys all the best. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I'll touch base with you guys whenever I feel like. Take care, guys.